Hi YouTube. Okay, so here we are. We're on part five of the Let's Play now. Um, now I've turned the volume way down on this one, uh, the game volume that is, because I decided that while we had a little bit of a break from main story, and like I said, I don't want to progress it too fast because I don't want the characters to disappear. Um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview of why I was playing the game. Uh, obviously, we miss out on that because of a lot of the basic bringing stuff and the intro-heavy stuff. And anyway. So, Psychonauts, as I've said before, one of my favourite platformers, one of my favourite games, full stop. Um, very, very funny, written by a very funny man. Um, the characters are great, and it's also a really good example of how to take a platformer sort of post-Nintendo 64 age and do it right. Um, this game was really sort of... PS2 and original Xbox, although that being said, I owned an original Xbox and for the life of me could never find this game, but, you know, uh, you look at games now, um, platformers especially, and it's just like, what platformers? Like, you, you have games that claim to be platformers, but then they just, there's no level theme. This is a really good example of, here is a game which has themed levels with a great hub world, interesting characters, and it's just all very well put together. So, basic story is Raz's main character runs away, psycho comes from the camp, you all pretty much caught in that by now. In terms of levels, um, each level is set inside the mind of someone around the camp. So for basic braining, obviously we went to Coach's mind, he's a war veteran, as a result his mind is a war zone. Um, uh, you can probably guess given that we're heading to Sasha Nine's lab, but Sasha's brain is going to be the next one we're going to. Um, and it's really interesting to see how they do sort of different characters' brains in terms of a level. Anyway, so on with the game. Um, this episode I'm going to be focusing on running around just exploring a little bit now. Um, just because I don't want to progress the game too fast and miss out on side dialogue. Anyway, so I've just accidentally stumbled upon Ford Krell's secret underground transport system. So maybe we'll go meet Ford. It's probably worthwhile. My sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Also, mm, sexy minecart thing. I'm okay with this. Okay, this is pretty cool. Oh god, it's that guy. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, So, sir. this guy's full color? No doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. So the crazy guy is apparently one of the most powerful Psychonauts ever. B brilliant. Just I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, God, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Well, say no more. Hmm. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it. Fair and cool. to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. Yeah, like that Bobby Zilch guy. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Yeah, it can make him completely crazy. You know, like the guy with his eyes, you know, slightly out of sync. Hmm. Yeah, we better go back to exploring. Good luck, Rap. Thanks. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. Oh, good. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your nose. I'm not sure I like the idea of this old man living in my head. Here, you can do it with this special device. Bacon strips. Is that... 
Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. I see. And now the, the one test we must perform on all Psychonauts major characters. Son, I will teleport you deep into that solid rock over there. You don't knock that off. Son, oh, okay. I'm sorry. We have to punch everyone. It's it's a needed thing. Like. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crow? Oh, sexy voice. I don't even know. Just drop me outside the main lodge. Outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Okay, sweet cheeks. Yeah, again, I mock him, but if I was an evil, well, I'm not an evil. If I was a incredibly powerful psychic astronaut thing, and I was building myself a minecart, I'd give it a sexy voice. Wouldn't you? Yep. Anyway, let's see if we can find some of the kids in the main lodge. Like I said, I am pretty much going to dedicate this episode to just especially talking to kids. It's going to be boring. Like, you know, it's not going to be boring, but it's not, you know, th there will be no plot progression. You deal with it. Um, now this here is our camp store where we buy stuff. So essentially, items to purchase are the cobweb duster, which is the thing we need to get rid of the metal cobwebs. I think it lets me color my psychic power, so you'll notice like right now it's all sort of orange, like orange ball, orange fist. Make them any color you want. I think that makes pickups run towards me. Not that fantastic, because the pickups are... You'll see once I get to level, like, apart from mental health, it's hard to run out of stuff in this game. The, co the dowsing rod is what you need to find the arrowheads to get the cobweb duster. Like it's it's a tier system. I cannot imagine farming 800 arrowheads just by picking them up. The eye thing on the bottom middle is what you use to get the, put those cards together, and the dream fluffs I think restore health. Hey, where are you stopping? Hey. Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Sorry, 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 my bad. Drum solo! Woo! You heard the man. Oh, that, that, that drum solo. Not to worry, my bro. Well, let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. So... Phoebe's a fire starter. Fair enough. What are you two doing? What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Oh, that hurts just a little bit. I wish I had some friends. Hey, Lily. You know where Sasha Nine's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine. Because I do. Uh huh. You're cute. Hey, quit it! Hey, quit it! Hey, quit it! Hey, quit it! Hey, 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 quit it! Hey, hey, hey! She like fat Albert boy. Let's go talk to Bear Boy again. Love this kid. I'll let you know if I see him. Cannot learn forever, dear. Mikhail will find you. Ah, Mikhail, this kid, he'll find them, he'll find bears and then wrestle them. I really, really dig the bear wrestling kid. Alright, we're back at the kids' cabins. I'm feeling this is the wrong way. Hey, you know that map, like, everyone's been telling me to look at? Maybe I should get on that. Maybe. So... I thought it's like use the right stick to navigate. Nope. Mouse? Yeah, mouse. So I want to go back to the main lodge. I assume the big pulsy green thing's where I want to go. Just going on a limb. That's, that kids, by the way, years of video game experience tells you that the pulsy green thing on the map is where you want to go. Alright, so that's the actual lodge. We'll just follow this path. Whee! That sign to me looks like a geo geosidic isolate psycho isolation chamber, or whatever the hell that thing is called. Because you know, I know exactly what they look like. <laughs> oh, I see the perky twins in the background. That's gonna happen. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle Oh Christ! Course. Hey, Rez, you're awesome. You must be a psychonaut by now. Yeah, or even a double psychonaut. Oh Christ! 
double psychonaut all the way. But soon. Wow. Those two are so nice. Why are they messing with poisonous chemicals? Okay, the kids, this is an important lesson. If anyone's ever particularly nice to you, it's because they're a drug user, alright? The only explanation. Wow, the dimensions are like how weird. Hey, what do you guys do? Uh writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! No. Wanna hear one? Uh, oh. Okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up! Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best! Just like my main homie! And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller! Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Well, those poisonous chemicals kicked in quickly. Oh, look who's still punching! Oh, look who's still punching! Yeah, oh my god, Raz. run. Just run. God, yeah, see, even Raz knows. Ra Raz knows what he's done. Coach is so, so distressing. Alright, let's get back to doing what the hell we were meant to be doing, because... Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Yay, geodesies is just geo C GPC. That's what we're calling it now. Like geodesic psycho isolation chamber doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Alright. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you yes. screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. Why? What, what happens? B b b bad things? Oh, cutscene. Jesus. Got kids that everywhere. You? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. <laughs> mm, no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. I like her. She's sarcastic. Some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> oh, my feelings. They're severely bruised. Alright, away we go. Wait, kind of feels the wrong way. Whatever. Exploring time! Okay, so we're very, very close to where the geodesic psychoisolation uh, One day, one day I'll say it right, I promise. Geodesic psychoisolation chamber is. So, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring first, just quickly. Just to show you sort of like what the hub world looks like. like it is really well fleshed out. It's one of those nice hub worlds where there's actually stuff to find. Nothing annoys me more than a game like, say... Okay. Poor example, but Diddy Kong Racing. There is a hub world. You know, you can run around the hub world, you unlock different planes. There is stuff to find in the hub world. There's like two or three extra of the balloons, which are the main sort of MacGuffin of the game. But there's two in the whole hub world. Other than that, hub world completely useless. Also, oh my god, bear? Is bear! Bear! Oh, oh, the bear. Oh, this the bear is, is floating psychics bear. Quickly, runs Rasmussen. You cannot possibly fight it. You do not have giant hat. Meanwhile, cards. Cards everywhere. I apparently have enough to build something. Nope. 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 Hey, Billy, do you want to go to your aunt's funeral? Nope. That's how I thought. It. Just. Nope. This is where, if I was a complete, like, just horribly unoriginal, stupid person. I'd make a Chuck Tester joke. See, I'm not. That's how you control yourself, internet. 
you know? No arrow to the knee jokes, none of that. Just cut it out, it's not that hard. Anyway. Um, haven't we explored all the major areas? I think there must be less... See, the, the problem is when I say that, um, you know, you can progress the story so fast you skip all the kids or whatever. The problem is, all three times I played the game, that's what I've done. So I don't actually know, off the top of my head, when they disappear or when there's, like, you know, interesting stuff that they say to go back and listen to. So it's pretty much a case of after each level I'm gonna waste an episode of running around just to make sure I don't have you miss anything. Anyway, yeah, right now there doesn't seem to be a lot more to do. I mean, we've been to all three major areas of the camp and talked to everybody, so... I guess it's pretty much a case of moving on to the Geodesiscomoskeletical Malationskus Gamer. Oh, except this kid. Yep. Hello, Astro Kid. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. <gasps> it's a pair of plans. How's the testing going? Not now, Pats. Well, well, that kid's awesome. All right, anyway. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girls' cabin. I'm hiding. <laughs> yes, you are, potato. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself oh, staring dear. back. Uh huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. And anyway, oh, God. I don't even be a hole because. James fills my heart until sometimes I think it's gonna explode. Hey, it's that one kid. <laughs> With the crying and the, the not shutting up. Where are you, child? I must rescue you. Or at the very least, snap your neck and silence you. Is anybody out there? Let me out! Help! Somebody! There's no brother in here! <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! Quiet time, Billy. Just Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a geodesic psycho isolation chamber? Yes. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea? Crushes your soul? Something cool? no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank. Hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the scout hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bullion dwarf accomplice should assault own size like and larger guy. only. Or even cooler. Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. No problem, Mikhail. We'll do all that we can to find large hairless bear and bring him to Russian flavored justice. Anyway, into the GPC DPC. Hmm. Looks like <gasps> and I was mysteriously given a button. Oh my god. You know what the only problem with this is? It's kinda like the vault in Lost. Not because it's mysterious, or because it leads to a hole in the ground. Because you're gonna have to wait till the next episode to find out what's down there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rather pointless episode of me running around talking to people and collecting things, but at least I gave you a little bit of backstory and from there we can sort of progress a little bit better. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy this and feel free to leave me any comments if you have any feedback. Maybe you like the new audio setup, maybe you think maybe just the voices need to be a bit louder. You let me know. Anyway, see you later.